Germany is currently going through the biggest housing shortage of the last 30 years. We are missing 700,000 flats today, expected to be 1.5 million flats in just two years. That is why the German Conservative Party, CDU, CSU, published a series of measures that are supposed to be the solution to our housing shortage. Let's take a look at that proposal together to see if this will indeed solve the German housing shortage in this German Real Dot Estate blog. The series of measures by the CDU-CSU Conservative Party involve mainly around increasing home ownership in Germany, which is low, to say the least. The German Economic Institute finds that home ownership in Germany was doing alright until 2010, but since then it pretty much stagnated between 45 to 50 percent, which is the second lowest home ownership rate in Europe, only surpassing Switzerland. Why is that? The German Economic Institute finds that especially young people and people who buy a property for the very first time, that don't inherit or have money from selling another property, continue to go down and down. While in 2001 about 700,000 became first time property buyers, in 2020 it was less than 400,000 people. Especially for young people it has become increasingly more unaffordable to buy a home for themselves. That's why their home ownership rate is at 12% only. That is why we made a video recently to show you the most affordable regions in Germany. And that is also why we help you guys with our real estate securities to build up equity for a future home purchase for example. By investing in our real estate securities you can profit from rising real estate prices and secure a nice return for yourself. And the more money you have the easier it will be to buy a home for yourself if that's what you want to do later on. So increasing the home ownership rate in Germany is a political goal for the German Conservative Party. In their opinion this solves three problems at once. First is that owning a home is a good way to save for retirement. At least in their opinion. They are right that the German public pension sucks and whatever you will get from them will not be nearly enough to support your living costs in retirement. We talk a lot about this on the Perfinex channel and that's why CDU CSU thinks owning a home is a good idea. If you ask me personally, I can only agree partly to this. Let's take the example of two people, both exactly the same, twins with exactly the same personal and financial situation. One twin buying a home while the other twin decides to continue renting. The buying twin, let's call him Bernie, doesn't waste money on rent anymore, but he continues wasting money on interest rate. If you believe the concept which many people seem to believe that rent is a waste of money, which I don't agree at all, but we'll come to this in a moment, then interest that you pay the bank for your mortgage is also a waste of money. Or is it not? When Bernie approaches his well-earned retirement, he paid off his mortgage so he earns his home outright. And that's when he thinks he will live completely rent free from now on, right? Just before he realizes that he needs to pay for all repairs himself, for insurance and for all kinds of modernizations. Remember, his home is probably decades old by that time and maybe at some point you would like to renew the kitchen or the bathroom that you had for 30 or 40 years. And even if Bernie's home doubled, tripled or even tenfolded in value, he would need to move out in order to cash in on that profit. And if his home doubled or tripled in value, then other properties in the area probably increased as well. So even Bernie's home became significantly more valuable, he cannot afford more property than he could decades ago. Ralph, the renting twin on the other hand, continued to waste money for rent and use the extra money to buy investment properties he rents out to other people. Hold on a second, where does the money come from for Ralph? Well, you can do the experiment for yourself. Let's say you pay 1000 euros a month in rent, just as an example to have easy numbers. Let's see how much property you could afford for yourself for the same 1000 euros a month. With the current mortgage rates of right around 4% and 2% principal, you would need to pay the bank right around 6% of the mortgage value every year. 1000 euros a month is 12000 euros a year is 6% of 200,000 euros. So with a mortgage of 1000 euros a month, you could afford a mortgage worth 200,000 euros. But your rent includes additional costs, 
Nebenkosten as well, which is called Hausgeld for homeowners. That's money for water, rubbish, elevator if you have one, heating, garden, insurance and all the other stuff. Hausgeld or Nebenkosten are highly dependent on the exact property. Let's just say it would be 200 euros a month, which decreases your potential mortgage payment from 1000 euros to 800 euros. And for 800 euros a month or 9600 euros a year, you can get a mortgage for 160,000 euros considering a 6% standard repayment rate per year. Do the experiment for yourself. Could you afford a similar home to what you're currently renting considering the 6% repayment and considering house guilt? I couldn't. I would have to pay at least twice as much to buy the flat that I'm currently renting. And that's why it makes no sense to me and that's also Ralph the renter's logic. He uses the extra money to buy investment properties which reward him with tax benefits that his twin Bernie doesn't get. Bernie can't deduct the interest rate he pays to the bank or ground purchasing tax, insurance, depreciation, notary, you name it. Ralph will get a lot of tax benefits that Bernie will not get. And Ralph will get rental income from his tenants for the rest of his life, therefore supporting his minimal pension he gets from the government. And isn't that a lot better than sitting in a home with a theoretical value that you can cash in? Where I do agree with CDU and CSU is their second argument that a home increases people's net worth. Because the bank forces them to save. In your 6% repayment is 2% principal, you buying more and more from your home with every single payment to the bank. And once your mortgage is paid off, you own your home. And that's why the German Economic Institute finds that homeowners have a significantly higher net worth than renters. And that's exactly where my twin theory with Bernie the buyer and Ralph the renter crumbles. Even though it may be economically correct. Renters are simply not forced to save and that's why they spend most of their money on stupid <laughs> statistically speaking. Buyers are forced to save by the bank and that's why their net worth is significantly higher. So if you are financially disciplined, rent yourself and buy investment properties. If you are not financially disciplined, buying a home may be a really good option for you. And the third argument is gentrification. The fact that lower income households are slowly pushed out of the city centers by wealthier households. We talked about this in another video a while ago and we can see it unfolding right in front of our eyes currently with rents in Berlin exploding by 27% over the first quarter of 2023. And now that we know the three reasons why the conservative party wants to increase the home ownership rate in Germany, let's see why it is so low. And the answer is pretty easy and probably every one of you knows it. Because you need a ton of money to buy a property here in Germany. You pay 2% for the notary and for land registry, that is mandatory. You pay another 3.5 to 6.5% in ground purchasing taxes that is mandatory as well. On top of that, there may be 3.57% for a real estate agent. And maybe your bank demands a 10% down payment as well. That means we are talking about an upfront investment of 5.5% up to over 22%. For the average home being around 300,000 euros, we're talking about an upfront investment of 16,500 euros up to 66,000 euros. Where is that money coming from for the average household? And that is why the proposals of the Conservative Party to increase the rate of home ownership in Germany are mostly to decrease the barriers of entry, which is the right approach if you ask me. Other concepts like handing out interest-free KfW mortgages to low-income families, it sounds nice and all, but it doesn't help low-income families to afford a property in the first place. If you have to have 66,000 euros upfront investment, the interest rate on your mortgage doesn't matter one single bit because most people cannot afford to buy a property anyway if they don't have 66,000 euros. Lowering the large upfront investment will make a significant difference and it can help Germany to achieve a higher rate of home ownership. Let's see. If anything of that will materialize, so for now on, while you still need a large upfront investment, why don't you hop over to our website to make the most of your money by investing in real estate already. Link is in the description.